Hey guys, it's Anthony here. It is uh, Thursday, July 3rd, 2025 at about 4 p.m. I just took delivery of this, my new Pecron E3600 LFP. You see it right here. I have it plugged into the wall. It came at a 67% charge. And in the wall, it's taking in just over 1700 watts. And the battery is, I can't see here when I'm filming. The battery's at 90%. You can see right, right up there in the green. And it says it'll be charged, I guess, in 10 minutes. I don't know too much about this yet, other than some videos that I watched on it. I got the, purchased the cart as well. I put that together. That was not difficult, but a little confusing because the directions are not that clear but i finally figured it out so it fits perfectly on the cart as you can see here it has a telescoping handle right here it's got some bags that go on the back of the cart i guess to hold your cords and stuff like that which this cart's going to be fine because it's going to be mostly used in my house on a flat surface to go like up and down the hallway there's the cord plugged in. I'll uh, move the machine around later when I do another video, but the cord is plugged in right there on the side. It locks in very s snugly. The, uh, I'm just going through all the directions and the screen, touch screen. And there's a spot on here that tells you um, systems about the equipment. So this is what basically the equipment is 3072 watt life po4 battery it weighs about 79 pounds uh dimensions right there you could see 3600 watts it shows you the dc output you've got two usb c's uh, two wireless charging ports here on the top you have um, four AC ports here under these covers. You've got a 30 amp, you know, for my RV or for other charging. I have a 30, a 30 amp outlet. You've got solar input, XT60 solar inputs here. I believe it could do, if you use both sides, it could do take up to 2400 watts of solar so 1200 per side um, and there's another 12 volt to 30 volt 150 watt max input then over here you have your um, you know your standard 12 volt cigarette lighter 10 amp port this port here I'm gonna make use of because with this port 30 amp output, 12 volts. I could hook this up to my eight, to my RV, which I already have wired. And this will run all the, you know, the whole DC side of the house with no problem. And then you have, uh, I guess this barrel port. I never use that port right there. Then you've got uh, USB-C at hundred watt. I think you can see that here, Pull this out. And you've got two USB-Cs, 100 watt, 18 watt, and then four USB-As right there. One, two, three, four. You can see that. Just giving you a quick overview. I, there's a little glow-in-the-dark sticker that comes with it. I put that on there. So this turns your DC side on. This activates your AC side, the outlets. Um, it comes with an app. I haven't downloaded it yet. It fits really well on the cart, like perfectly. So wheeling this, you know, 80 pounds is kind of hard. My wife had to wheel it down the hallway. She could easily take the cart and, and wheel it, as you can see. This unit here I went with, uh, number one, it got some really good reviews. And number two, I could expand this to 15,000 watts 
with the extra batteries that come with it. Or I could get a second unit, plug them both together with a, uh, a little adapter they have and have 240 volt system. So there's a lot. If you watch YouTube on this particular unit, dollar for dollar, it has some great reviews, great output. Uh, great uh, performance for the for the money and uh, it's really expandable which is I'm getting a um, whole house uh, transfer switch installed next week and so that's one of the reasons why I bought this so with this I could recharge with my generator and then run my basic appliances in the house at least for right now lights a refrigerator or a freezer uh, you know in an outage which is this unit but uh, as I expand the batteries on this thing, uh, I could run, you know, grid down for a while. And I've got a good amount of solar I could hook up to it already. I think I have about 15 or 1,500 watts of solar in the garage between my uh, solid panels and my folding panels. So I could definitely get this thing. And I'll, I'll do some more videos with this unit as I get more familiar with it. But I wanted to just show you guys the uh, basic unit with the cart. And there it is. And then it came with, I'll show you guys here. It comes with these uh, set of tools to put the cart together. It's very convenient. A little thing with some extra stickers. And if you buy the extra batteries, it goes battery number one, which is zero. And one, two, three. So four 3,000 plus watt batteries, plus the 3,000 there, will give you like 15,000. Um, a little welcome card, directions for the cart, which really weren't, you know, wasn't that difficult. A little okay, bag. Can I see what the for <clears throat> Monitoring something there. Uh, you get this really nice, rigid case, Pecron case, that comes with your um, cords to house your cords. You've got your 30 amp cord right here. It locks right into the system. The AC cord locked right in. Just line it up and twist it. It locks in. And then you've got your solar cables here and um, a little tool there. I'm not sure what that's for. i got to look at that closer. But it's really nice how this comes with this, you know, case here to keep everything uh, together. And then your shipping box came very well packed, you know, in this hard foam stuff here. Double boxed. So very happy with how it shipped. The cart came in a separate box. That box was a little ripped open when it came, but the, the main unit in this box came perfectly. So I will do some more videos on this um, unit, like reviews and show you how I'm going to use it. But I wanted to get this out there just to show you guys the Pecron E3600 LFP with the cart and um, again, I'm gonna start using it and putting it through some paces and doing some more reviews on it. But this was more like, a, like an unboxing here. So thanks for watching guys, take care, stay ready. And uh, you've got to, um, you know, this goes into my solar uh, lineup here. I've got the Blue Eddy 2000 watt, I've got the Blue Eddy 1000 watt unit. I've got a Blue Eddy 350 watt unit that I keep here. This we use every day for our cell phones and stuff like that, the EB3A. I've got some older Goal Zero units, a 150 and a 400. So, and I've got plenty of solar right now, but I wanted to get something now that I'm getting the transfer switch installed I wanted to get something bigger and expandable to power the house. So thanks for watching. Take care. Stay ready.